All right, everybody, welcome to your very first video, Dur here. And this video is going to walk us through our English class, sort of the first phase. So this is what we call unit Z, which is just really standing for unit zero. Um, and there are two main objectives for you to understand by the end of this video. So the first one is what does a self-paced mastery based blending learning environment look like and feel like for you as a student? And then how are your assignments named and what different types of assignments are going to be in your Schoology um, page and what they are going to look like. So those are our two main things. So we're going to kind of just go through this pretty quickly and you'll get very used to seeing me on camera um, in all types of environments at all types of day and, and night. And so the first thing for us to understand here is that this classroom is going to be different in its feel than maybe other English classes that you've been in, but you, depending upon who your civics teacher is this year, may have a similar experience in your civics classroom. So the, we're going to focus on blended instruction, which means that you're going to be getting your content level knowledge, like the English stuff, through watching a video. While you're watching a video, you'll be taking some notes, the same way that you'd be taking notes if I was standing up in the front of the classroom talking to you. This is just going to be you watching it at your own pace which leads us into the second thing that it's self paced. So if you watch the video and you're like, I don't understand that at all. Well, guess what? You can watch it again. Or if you're watching the video and you're like, I already know this, you could fast forward and go on right ahead, fill in those notes. You'll be ready to go. The mastery portion of it is just that this class is going to be based upon mastery understanding of things. So you're going to move on and progress through the different lessons when you show or demonstrate in some way that you understand the content from the previous one. So this class is what we call self-paced, mastery-based, and blended. Blended because you're going to do some of your learning from me through the screen and then some of it in real life in a small group. So with that being said, it's important for you to understand sort of the components of what it means or how you're going to achieve mastery. You're always going to have the opportunity to revise. You're going to be able to revise and revise and revise until you get to the, the level that you're satisfied with or that I'm satisfied with and your um, grade shows that you understand the content. If you take a, an assessment and you don't do very well on it, you're gonna reassess or take that assessment over. And then when we're done with, not sometimes the lesson, sometimes the unit, you're gonna reflect, like how well do I actually understand this content? Could I teach it to somebody else? Is it just really something that I understand? Am I still really confused? All right, and that's gonna be how you're gonna be able to demonstrate that you've really understood and mastered the particular content. Now, in terms of what does it look like to revise or to reassess, it's gonna depend upon the unit, but for the most part, let's say that you don't do so well on something, you're not gonna necessarily be able to retake it right then and there. There's gonna be a couple of steps that you're gonna to have to complete in order to show that now I do understand it better and then you'll redo um, whatever it might be that you wanna retry. So a few things to know. We're gonna use letters in this class along with numbers to name all of the assignments. This is gonna help you in two ways. Number one, everything for English is gonna have a unique name. And number two, your civics teacher may or may not be using a similar system. They're gonna use all numbers. The English will have a letter in there. Um, so the numbers and letters are gonna be set up like this. The first is gonna represent the unit. So right now we're gonna be in unit Z, which stood for unit zero, kind of like understanding the class before we understand the content. And then the lesson number will be in the middle and the activity number will be at the end. So it's gonna be like a three part system, unit, lesson activity all right everything will always go chronologically so in the same way that the alphabet goes from a to z your i guess that doesn't make sense because unit zero forget about z we ain't gonna make it that far anyways but from a through however many letters we make it each one of those units will go in order so there are three types of assignments the first we've got our must do assignments this is exactly what it sounds like you must do those those everybody is going to complete all right. Then we've got what we call our should do assignments. It's going to kind of be like, mm, if you have the time, you should do this because it's going to really help you understand and do better on that, that mastery check at the end to demonstrate that you understand it. And then we have our aspire to do items, which is going to be the ones that you may or may not make it to, depending upon how quickly you're able to, to get through these first two parts. All of these things typically are going to be built into the same assignments, but just kind of scaffold up in terms of like not necessarily difficulty or more work, just like a different level of thinking. Okay, so our must-do assignments are always going to be all of your guided notes, your practice things, 
Uh, these are the ones that are required. You have to do them. Not all of them will be graded. Some of them you'll be self-grading or checking on your own just to make sure that you have the concept correct. All right. And they're going to build upon each other. So you, it's going to be important for you to be successful to make sure that you're doing a good job on your must-dos. Your should-do assignments are an extension. All right. They're, like I said, they're typically built right in and it's a way to sort of give you a bit of a challenge. Other classes may have called this like a bonus. All right. Kind of think of this as like a bonus. You should always give it a try. All right. It's not going to ever hurt you to try. And then the aspire to do is like a real opportunity for you to be innovative and, and maybe pursue something that you're more passionate about, uh, some type of research, some type of book that you're reading. Um, these are going to be based a little bit more on that. And depending upon our unit, there's going to be different opportunities for the aspire to do. So we've got three different types of assignments. Now, within that, there are options. Your guided notes are always going to be on paper and pencil while you're watching something on Schoology. So same way that you're watching me on this video, you're going to be watching something and then filling in the notes. There's going to be a video coming up about how to do that accurately and be a really excellent note taker, but we'll practice that as we go. After that or beyond that, there's always going to kind of be like the option. Do you want to try it on paper and pencil? Would you prefer to have it digital? You're going to have that choice to sort of see what's ever going to work best for you. Obviously, we're going to be using Schoology again. So you're familiar with that from last year, unless you're new to Fairfax County. And if you are, don't worry. It's pretty straightforward and we'll kind of help you as you go. Uh, it was new for all of us last year. So we're not quite experts yet, but we're definitely getting better. So the very first thing that you're going to do when you end this video is move into the next part of the lesson, which is going to be listed as uh, Z.1.2. All right. And so for that part of the lesson, you're going to be setting up your binder. If you don't have your binder, you're not going to be able to do this part. You're just going to skip ahead to the next part. And then when you get your binder, you'll double back. But there are three sections that you're going to set up in your binder. The first is going to be labeled strong starts. The second is going to be labeled guided notes and practice. And then the last part is going to be labeled mastery checks or checks for understanding. And there is going to be a page right on Schoology that's going to kind of give you some visuals on what this is going to look like and what to do when you finish. So this is kind of like our very first getting our toes wet. But I know that we're going to have a really great year. This is going to be your best year yet in English. You're going to be rock stars. So go ahead and close this video. Ask yourself, do I understand what it means to be self-paced, mastery-based, and blended? And do I understand the three different types of assignments? If the answer to either of those things is no, you might go ahead and rewind and rewatch that part of this video. If the answer is yes, I think I've got it, go ahead and move on to the next part.